السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. They work hard to prepare us for future challenge. When we make mistakes, they are our teachers. Parents live for us. They are happy when we are happy. Yes, so today's topic of my speech, importance of parents in Islam. So as a Yudhika Shari, son of Sayyid Kamar Ali, welcomes you all in this special day. When asked about the people who taught us the most, who were there for us through hardships, who laughed with us during the good times, who put up with us an hour of days, most of us think immediately of our parents. And it is true, our parents are the ones who have been with us through almost everything in our lives. Our mother carries us for 9 million months before we are born and at least 18 years afterwards. Our parents, to list a few things, take care of us, teach us, help us and provide us financially and academically. Without them, most of us would not be in the place we are today. Unfortunately, however, many people do not treat their parents in the manner they deserve. Teenagers fight relentlessly with their parents, often over extremely trivial topics. Other young people ignore their parents, rather spending the time with their friends or online. As we get older, we tend to forget that our parents are growing older as well. Not only is this disregard unfair to our parents, it is also strictly forbidden in Islam. God has commanded us to treat with utmost respect, no matter in the situation we are in. Respecting parents is one of the most significant aspects of Islam. Allah says in the Quran, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ لَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا إِمَّا يَبْلُغَنَّ عِدَكَ الْكِبَرَ أَحَدَهُمَا أَوْ كِلَاهُمَا فَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفٍّ وَلَا تَنْهَرُهُمَا وَقُلْ لَهُمَا قَوْلًا كَرِيمًا Your Lord has decreed that your worship none but him and that you be kind to your parents whether one or both of them attain old age in their life say not to them a word of contempt not repel them but address them with terms of honor the first degree in this verse is to worship none but god this is the first and most important pillar of this love and joining partners with allah is an unforgivable sin the order right after this is to worship none but god there are other major sins that could have been mentioned here, but the one Allah has forbid, forbidden instead, as against here is disrespect to our parents. Some of the traditions of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and of the learned members of his family are quoted here. Al Jannatu al Ummahat, Paradise lies under the feet of mother. Riza Rabbi fi Riza al Walid, Riza Sakhatu fi Sakhat al Walid. Allah's pleasure is in the pleasure of father and Allah's displeasure is in the displeasure of father. Raghimanfu, summa raghimanfu, summa raghimanfu. Man adraka abawaihi idaka al-kibari ahaduhuma au kilayhi ma falam yadukhul al-jannah. It is a pity that some people may not attain heaven on account of not serving their old parents. Ma min waladin barri yanzru ila walidayi nabarata rahmatin illa katab allahu lahu illa katab allahu lahu if a person look with love at his parents, Allah writes in his favor the reward equal to the performance of one Hajj. The Prophet Muhammad said, On the day of judgment, my person will not seem by those who have drink liquor, who on hearing my name did not invoke the blessing of Allah on me, and that who were cursed and disowned by their parents. Let us pray to God that he guide us to be respectful, kind, obedient to our parents and that we continue to show them humility regardless of the power, position, wealth and influence may, may possess. Let's, uh, let us also pray to God that he be that we be patient, kindful, thoughtfully and friendly with our children as we guide them through their lives. To, to conclude my speech, I would like to say some words. Agar chahte ho sada muskurana, agar chahte ho sada muskurana, kabhi apne walden ka dil na dukhana. Agar chahte ho sada muskurana, kabhi apne walden ka dil na dukhana. Pyaar se karo apne walden ki gulami, jannat ne banega tumara thikana. Assalamualaikum.